Hey everybody, how you doing now? It's Dave World. It's Dave World, welcome to my Dave's World here on YouTube channel. That's right, I have a YouTube channel, did you know? Uh, yes, I have a YouTube channel. I'm not going to tell you what the YouTube channel is. You guys will have to figure that out. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, nonetheless, I'm not here to tell you about my YouTube channel. I'm here to tell you guys, let you know about information is always key to everything. Uh, information is very powerful. Don't they always say in the radio station and TV station, information is very powerful, get it out there kind of thing? Well, I'm going to get it out there. I'm going to respond to the response. Um, this is no joke, folks. I'm going to respond to the response. Um, I'm going to talk about these two young ladies who once were on Alex Jones, that's at InfoWars studio. Um, the two ladies that are in question, they would say, the two ladies, two young, beautiful ladies in question, they were all with Alex Jones, who, Mill Weaver, Mill Weaver, if you people don't know Mill Weaver, go check her out on YouTube channel. Uh, she was once on air with Alex Jones, yes, uh, Mill Weaver, I'll put her name up there uh, on the subtitles. Um, she, she has a YouTube channel, she goes around interviewing people for the InfoWars studio. She's like the correspondent, like the CNN people on, uh, on CNN. Um... But she, she's going her own, uh, her own way and her own things that she does. In the, just recently, just recently, folks, I don't know if you ca get caught up on her. Uh, she once got arrested, uh, about her documentary, her documentary film, before it ever got premiered. If you, if you're, if you're a movie buff and you want to premiere this video, uh, this movie, you have to do it before it gets mentioned. You have to get people to mention it a couple times before it gets premiered. Um, so anyway, she, this is her, guess what, this is her first documentary film, full-length film, talking about the deep state. This film is called Shadowgate 2.0, that's right, 2.0, Shadowgate, uh, the deep state, and we're talking about the deep state in terms of the government stuff, uh, uh, behind the scenes, uh, the stuff that wasn't talked about on public. Now, not a lot of things are always talked about in public, like public consumption stuff. Uh, stuff in the um, uh, government stuff, usually they kind of hide away. They don't want people to know about it. They really don't want people to know about it. So she got in hot water, so I would say to people, they got really hot water with this one. Uh, um, with this documentary film that she was working on. This was the very first documentary film that she was going to work on. Uh, I think her and some uh, camera guy worked on a first only, f I think it was her first documentary film that she was going to work on. It's called The Deep uh, Shadow Gate. I think it was Shadow Gate 2.0. That's right. You guys are want to know what this means, this film. I saw already the pre uh, preview of it, the preview of it, the trailer, you know, like the preview of the trailer. Uh, it looked pretty good. It looked pretty good. It looked pretty, but this talks about the deep state, the, what the in government people would say. The deep state. Uh, yeah, that kind of deep state. Um, and, uh, she was getting into hot water, uh, in terms of, uh, a topic she was going to talk about in the film. Uh, the doc, this was just a documentary film, documentary film, take it as it is, a documentary film, her very first, uh, she said it her own words, but I'm going to say it with mine, I'm going to respond to the response. Um, so, I'm responding to her documentary film, it was, it's shown a couple of times, but it's called Shadowgate 2.0. This, uh, the topic has to deal with ch the deep state, as you guys would know. And 2.0, this is a 2.0 film. Uh, and uh, I want to talk about Mill Weaver, Mill Weaver and Ian uh, Bennett. Ian uh, Bennett, I think that's her name. Uh, she's another uh, InfoWars, and I'll put both their names on my subtitle. Um, and they both have YouTube channels, they both have YouTube channels. Just recently, uh, they're going back and forth. Both these two young ladies are going back and forth about comments that they, uh, that the other one was their friend. The other one was not their friend. They kind of stabbed them in the back. If you know what I mean, it's like figure of speech kind of thing. Um, and, uh, Mill Weaver, she spoke about it. She responds to response on her best friend. Once her best friend, I should say. Um, that's what she said in, the, in her <laughs> video. I'm not meant, I'm putting words in her mouth. Uh, once was her friend, but now stabbed her in the back. It's uh, it's like figure of speech, you know. Uh, just uh, this is what I got out of her, and I just shrugged my shoulders and said, "Okay, okay." 
Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing from, you know, Bill Weaver here. Uh, okay, so, uh, so like I said, like I said, I don't know if it's uh, water on the bridge or they're very hatchet. It's just another friend to another friend. Um, so it's like they're backstabbing each other almost. Uh, and uh, this goes back and forth. Uh, at one point, they were at friends' wall back. To, I don't know. This is long ago, you know. And now bitter enemies. It's like in wrestling, you know. They like each other for a while, and now they're bitter enemies. So they got to fight it out. They got to fight it out. And uh, uh, so you know. And so, like I said, so, so this is a topic I'm going to run by. This is a two young, beautiful ladies still uh, still in the world today. Have their both YouTube channels. Um, they're running this, uh, to, to this day, as they say, to this day. Uh, Bill Weaver, who's interviewed uh, Jim Koska, who I mentioned. Uh, a few people that she mentioned out there uh, that she interviewed. It was the, She has YouTube uh, videos, you know, she has YouTube videos. There's no joke. And a YouTube channel. Uh, go check out her name. Go, go check her out. She's awesome. She's really awesome. Really awesome in stereo. In stereo sound. And... Uh, and uh, she's been on the Infowars studio, which you people know already, uh, with Alex Jones, that, uh, the host of that Infowars studio uh, place. And uh, everybody knows Alex Jones, you would know who he looks like. Uh, but yeah, he's the guy in Texas, that's where the studio is, Infowars.com, uh, I would mention the website if you want to go there. But yeah, just remember, Alex Jones and um, this guy, uh, Owen Sawyer, he's pretty good. He's a younger version of Alex Jones. A younger version. Uh, and he likes, to, he likes to do at the end of the month, I, this is what I got from him. Uh, at the end of the month, they do like a uh, veterans call-in show. They do a call-in show called the Veterans Day. The VA, they call it VA. Um, every war veteran that's out there still exists today or in the past can share their stories, as they say, share their stories on air. They do. They tribute one hour of doing this. That's, I appreciate why they do that. And apparently, I heard older stories say, at the end of the month, they usually do, they tribute one hour of, of war veterans out there in the world. And about their stories, about uh, how they were in wars, how the war still going on. At war past uh, in the 40s to up till now, this thing. And are we in wars? Are we in wars now? Uh, I just want to iterate that. Are we in wars now, folks? That's the question I want to point out to you guys. And this is a podcast. This is not a rant. This is a podcast show. So I want to make it such. Um, and uh, yeah, so Mill Weaver and Ian Bun Bennett, I guess that's her name. Ian Bennett, yeah. Hope I pronounce her name again pronounce her name properly. These are two young women just want to make a name for themselves. And uh, they we were friends for a while back. Uh, this is in uh, past tense, they would say. Uh, in the past tense. But have their own views about the world. Okay? Own views of the world. So they have their own special, you know, separated uh, opinions uh, about the world. Uh, uh, Mill Weaver did a story that uh, really gravitated to a lot of people. Uh, Parent, parent, how do I say? Parent, parenthood uh, likes to kill babies. Likes to kill babies. Uh, I don't know if this is a true story or not, but there uh, she didn't like to this uh, company. It's called Parent Parenthood. All you mothers gotta be careful about this. Uh, they like to kill babies, and Mill Weaver did a story about it. Uh, it was bold on her uh, on her story doing that, and it was great. It was great of doing that story. It made a lot of people cry about it. She just wanted to get to the nitty gritty about it. And I appreciate that. I really do. I really appreciate what she did. Um, I want to tell you guys, uh, Bill Weaver is a champion of the cause. She's the champion of the cause of the world. Maybe one of these days I want to meet her. One of these days. But until then, until then, I want to chime in. I want to respond to the response of her videos and Ian Bennett. Uh, or, Ian, how do you pronounce your name, Ian Bennett? Anyway, uh, I've seen a few of their YouTube videos a couple times. Um, and I'm going back and forth. I'm going back and forth on their both videos. Uh, uh, but Mill Weaver seems to get off by saying, okay, her other friend is kind of like stabbing her back about all the things that she had said. And, uh, 
they were saying there once were friends, but now bitter enemies, almost they kind of, but you, you'll see it in their own videos, you'll see it in their own videos, their response of the response uh, of their own, uh, of their own videos. And they go back and forth, they're going back and forth with what they're responding to. Uh, so they go back and forth, it's like friends, you know, if you had friends in your life, they respond to the response. So, yes, they respond. <laughs> so, uh, Bill Weaver is responding to her, one of her once her best friend, but stabbed her in the back. It's just, you know, in terms of uh, uh, what they want to say. So remember that, folks. Uh, be careful what, what kind of friends you have. Always make sure you know what kind of friends you have in your world. Make sure they don't stab you in the back and say nasty words about you. Uh, and uh, I want to iterate that, so I'm going to sell in stereo. This is a stereo podcast in audio format. And uh, yes, just remember, you're going to hear myself in stereo, not a mono, but in stereo. Yeah. Not a mono sounding, it's in stereo sounding. It's what you call a hard right and hard left. That's stereo sonophonic sound. And, uh, and by the way, by the way, I just want to say to you guys, you guys have a great day. And remember, you're in Dave's world. You're in Dave's world right now. You're in my world. Not, not anybody else, not the third person, not the, uh, the party person. Uh, none of that, none of that uh, really exists. Or, yeah. Just remember, people, this is only a podcast only. I'll mention that right now. A podcast only show. Um, and I want to make it such. So I, what you're hearing me now is a podcast show. And uh, Bill Weaver and that other girl, they're having, uh, they're having uh, not fighting words. I'm not saying it's fighting words. I'm just saying they're having their own opinion. Back and forth, back and forth, you know. Uh, <laughs> one can't be the other, you know. And it's only, at, it's only at the story level. The story level. They're not getting to the, you know. It's like uh, they were want to respond to the other person's response to the other person's response. So it's like, I want to respond to the other person. You get what I'm, you follow me kind of thing? You follow me? It's like a pastor would say, do you follow me? <laughs> yeah, I follow you, trust me. Uh, but, um, you follow me what I'm saying, kind of thing. But yeah, yeah, so what I'm doing right now, I'm responding to the response videos that I saw. Um, yeah, so whatever Mel Weaver said to Ian uh, Bennett, uh, I'm going to respond to both these two people right now on their both videos. Uh, this stems back to the, uh, the, uh, the arrest that, uh, the arrest that, uh, Bill Weaver had to, uh, that everybody saw, uh, around the world, including the Rebel News. I should mention Rebel News, by the way. Uh, Rebel News, if you don't know on YouTube videos, go check Rebel News. They had a story, but almost, they had a story about her. Everybody was chiming in because of Bill Weaver's arrest. Uh, and <laughs> I got ahead of you. She's really a trooper. She's really a trooper, and I get, I'm not trying to laugh at her or anything. She's a real trooper. You can tell her by in her face. Uh, she takes it like a grain of salt kind of thing. You know, it's like water on the bridge for her, I guess. Uh, yeah. It's just it's just the way that people sometimes can tolerate and other people can't. Uh, it, uh, it's a lot of exposing. Uh, but her supporters were there after she was got released from, you know, you know what I'm going to say, from jail. Uh, her, sport, her supporters were right out there uh, cheering for her right after she left. She was lucky. She would have to pay for her lawyers and all sorts of stuff. So she would have to face the judge, you know. Uh, but she was lucky. She let out early, as they say, let out early. Uh, she only got arrested. She only, they only put her in for, what, 40, 42 hours? 40 or 48 hours and let her go after that. So it wasn't like a permanent jail sentence or anything. So, lucky for her, it wasn't a permanent jail sentence. So, usually, they, they usually do put people in jail for 48 hours and then they let them go. It's like catch and release. They always, they do the like the catch and release thing. Yeah, they catch the person, release them in quite a while. Uh, and hopefully they don't do it again. It's like, uh, remember, if, you, if you're a little kid, they would, uh, you know, they would say, send you to your room, they stay in your room for a couple of hours. And that's what they do in the... In the police world, the law enforcement people do. They uh, catch them. They catch these people what they did wrong. Put them in. Uh, put them in the jail cell for 48 hours and let them go after. So they, it's like they want to teach them a lesson. They really want to teach them a lesson what they did wrong. Yeah. 
And so, uh, so like I said, folks, I don't want to make this an international incident. Okay, I don't want to make this an international incident, just like Mill Weaver did. Um, all I'm saying, folks, is uh, I'm going to respond to the response, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I'm going to respond to their videos that I saw and heard, respond to their videos right from mine. If you don't, if you, if you guys don't mind, I will, I will respond to respond videos. Yeah, so that's what I want to say. And Mill Weaver, if you're listening out there, and Ian Bennett, uh, that's her, I guess that's her name. Uh, both these young women on Infowars with Alex Jones. Uh, yes, you know the guy. Um, and uh, yes, just remember, these uh, these are people really good. They, Alex Jones really hires the good people. I'm, I'm surprised that with Alex Jones being there, hiring the right people. He hires the right people, and I get that. For an organization to a business organization, you have to, really. Yeah, he gets, uh, he gets a lot of good people on there. Uh, there it's not like... Uh, you know they're a bit shady kind of people, but they're not. They're not. They're good people. They're they ripping. They ripping. I say represent themselves really good, and they're trying to they uphold what they need to uphold. So, folks, like I said, like I said, Mill Weaver is the best of all worlds. She comes across as no nonsense kind of woman. Yeah. And uh, yeah, she was lucky. She so it was it's the, it was called the Shadow Gate. That was her documentary film that they were going to do. They were going to put out into the world. Uh, 2.0, 2.0. Her and the uh, uh, film director. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is like 2.0. Uh, and it has to do with the deep state, uh, deep state with the government stuff. Uh, and it was the stuff that you don't want to hear. Uh, they like to uh, shed light on things that what the government's trying to do. Yeah. Yeah, behind the closed doors, they would say, behind closed doors. But they're not really telling you. So, anyway, anyway, I saw the preview of it. I saw the preview of it. It's not bad. It's not bad. I want to get my point about it. It was not bad. It was, I just saw the preview, the trailer of it. It looked pretty good. It looked pretty good, guys. If you ask my opinion, it was looked pretty good. But I didn't see the full-length film. The full length documentary. I don't know if it, uh, how long it was, but it was a long documentary. But anyway, I will leave it there, but I, I, I'm going to sound in stereo. I'm going to sound completely much in stereo. It's a diamond, they call it diamatic stereo sound, sound of phonic sound. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to sound in mono, I'm going to sound in stereo, complete stereo. That's right and left uh, sounding speakers. Yeah, and I'll make sure the music sounds in stereo too as well. Um, and it's all relevant. It's all relevant. The stereo sound is all relevant. And uh, I researched this so badly, really so badly. So I want to give a shout out to everybody who's listening on to my podcast. I want to give a shout out that I'm going to sound really obnoxious, really loud, and really obnoxious. And I want to raise the voice. I want to raise it really high. Not really lower it a bit. Yeah, I can sound as quiet as a mouse, or I can raise my voice and really scream top of my lungs. Yeah. And so I just want to let you guys know this is just a topic for you people out there to really digress, to digress. So like the digress version. Uh, so I want to give you guys to think about what I just said on this podcast. It's a, it, it's 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 information that you want to know out there. It's your information that you want to know, that you people out there on podcasts want to know. If you want to do a podcast, come to my podcast. You'll get what I'm, what I'm talking about in stereo, in stereo sounding podcast. And you can do it. You can do it. If you, could, if you try it, you can do it. You can do it, folks. Just you have to do it. Just remember, if you want to do a podcast, make sure it's in audio, not in uh, video form. Yeah. Yeah. And just remember, I want to give a shout out to everybody who works at InfoWars. They have the best people working there. I'm not kidding. Yeah, you got you got Owen Sawyer. I hope I said it right. And you got David McKnight. And you got Alex Jones, who's the head honcho of the uh, of the Infowars big studio. And if you ever if you go onto the websites, you'll see their studio what it looks like there. And uh, it's on video form and audio form. It's a theater of the mind, as they would say. 
Yeah, yeah, just remember, just remember, it's the best of both worlds. It's the best of both worlds. They get the, they hire on the best people there too. Uh, the one, one guy that, that I keep forgetting is Roger Stone. You guys know who Roger Stone, he used to be, he used to be, uh, uh he knew Donald Trump now. This is, uh, Roger Stone's, his own words. He knew Donald Trump for 40 plus years, 4-0, 40 plus years. That's what he's claiming. Roger Stone, which a lot of you people don't know, he was a champion of a lot of people who were in, in Washington, D.C. Um, uh, Jimmy Carter, he was part of the Jimmy Carter uh, estate. Uh, but yeah, Roger Stone, he's, a, he's pretty good. I, I watched him several times when he was with Alex Jones there. And he was pretty knowledgeable. He was pretty knowledgeable. I was quite surprised at how knowledgeable he was. So he was quite knowledgeable, folks. He was really, really pretty knowledgeable. That's what I have gathered from him. Um, and uh, he has stories to the galore. He has stories to galore that would knock your socks off. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and he always talks about Hillary Clinton and the uh, way that Hillary Clinton was. Uh, Roger Stone, he's the Roger Stone of Roger Stone World. Yeah, and uh, he, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. He's a pretty good guy. He's a pretty good guy. If you get to know him, if you see him, you'll get to know him. Uh, but anyway, I want to say that I'm in stereo. You guys are in stereo. You're listening to me in stereo. And it's not in model sounding. It's in stereo sounding. So I want to iterate that. So this is my podcast. Welcome to my world, everybody. This is my world, not your world. My world. Welcome to my world, everybody. And this is my podcast. See you guys on the next podcast. Until then, ciao for